Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to register your EOS key uh, in order to ensure that you receive your airdrops and also get your EOS mainnet tokens whenever EOS launches their mainnet. So first, you would want to go to wannabit.io and the default language should be in English but if it's not, you can click this and then switch it to English. So what you want to do is scroll down and read the quick start. Sorry. And you should create an account on Wannabit in order to uh, proceed with the US key registration. I've already created an account, so I'll just log in. And then it says, connect the Ethereum wallet that holds your EOS tokens. Uh, for me, uh, I put a little bit of EOS in a Ledger wallet. So I'm going to click on Ledger and connect it to my U USB. Put in my PIN code. There we go. All right, so I have my EOS tokens in my third address, so I'm going to click this and then access selected address. So if you haven't registered your EOS public key yet, it'll say no registration found uh, on this. And then what you can do is enter EOS.io. Scroll down, click on Get EOS, uh, agree to the purchase agreement, and then click Continue. And then you'll have to scroll down again, click on Register, and My Ether Wallet, and then click on Generate, generate EOS Keys. So here you will see your public key and your private key and this is the EOS address that you'll use whenever the EOS mainnet launches and this will be your uh, password private key for your public address. And then you can go back to the website. It says copy and paste public key. So I'll go back to the EOS website and then copy my public key then paste it right here. And you'll want to make sure that you keep your public key and private key in a safe place and never lose it. Uh, yeah, just keep it in a safe place. It's really important that you don't lose your private key and your public key. And now you can click on register. Then it'll say valid public key. I'm using my uh, ledger right now, so I'll have to confirm the transaction on my ledger. And then here, you'll see the key registration information. And then you can click on send transaction. Key registration complete. So you'll see the transaction ID right here. Uh, you can copy that and go to Ether Etherscan, paste it. You'll see that the transaction is uh, currently going through. And whenever this is completed, uh, your uh, EOS public key will be registered. We'll give this a minute, a minute or two. There we go. Now you can um, refresh. Connect your wallet again. The same wallet you just registered. And then here. Uh, once your uh, EOS key is registered, it'll show the EOS public key that uh, you connected to your Ethereum address. And there it is.
Thank you for watching.